It is Tuesday the 20th of September 2022. Right, I am on our near side plot. This is the plot where we keep most of our poultry. And we've had two sets of chicks hatch in the past few weeks. And one of those batches produced 18 chicks from 24 eggs. So that was a good hatch race so we're really pleased with that and we haven't lost a single one of those chicks since so delighted with that and they're with a foster mother who has been absolutely ideal with them uh, trouble is when you've got 18 chicks they very rapidly grow to fill the space that you put them into so we put the chicks and the foster mum into this little uh, cage here few weeks on and the chicks are all getting bigger and they need somewhere else to live. So what we've done, this cage is in this fruit cage and this fruit cage is where we keep our buff orpington so there's one in there and another one. So we've got seven buff orpingtons in this cage. Uh, they're all mounting at the moment, so I'm looking a bit on one or two of them, such as Eric the Cockwell here. He's uh, showing uh, the shovels you can get when he mounts. But, as you can see, around the edge of the fruit cage, we've put this skirting board. As you can see, we've got this wire netting on. And uh, the thing about wire netting is it corrodes and degrades where it comes into contact with the soil. So we've had to put the skirting on because uh, a lot of the wire netting had just worn away. And the skirting should keep the chicks in. So what I'm going to do now is simply let the hen and the chicks out. And they will hopefully take to this new space. Now, the thing we've got to watch out for is that a, a hen that is looking after chicks uh, can be quite aggressive to other hens as well. After so all, she's got all her babies to protect. Uh, so, I've just got to watch out for that. Uh, I hope that uh, they're all settled down quite quickly. And uh, the chicks are already making their way out. Right, this one has made it out. There's a couple of others around a moment ago. It's now about three hours since we let the chicken and the chicks out of the chick run and as you can see they are very much up and about. And uh, the buff Orpingtons don't seem to be too bothered about them. The chicks in the Buff Orpington run there are not the only ones that have been on the move today. Uh, back in August, I put another nine eggs into the incubator, and of those nine eggs, eight hatched. And those chicks are now nearly a month old, and they've outgrown their brooder box. Uh, so I've brought them over here, and this. Here is our quail house, so we've decided to put the chicks into there. So about half an hour ago I bought this hutch in here and I put the chicks in there and kept the box closed and I'm going to open it now but uh, this is just to get them used to uh, being in here uh, and that the this box is a place of refuge uh, for them, but as you can see, uh, there they are. 
So we'll let them come out at their own pace. Uh, we've got about 20 quail in this uh, in this run, uh, and it's quite secure against uh, predators as well because it's fully enclosed. It's got a roof on, it's got netting all the way around the sides, and it's got concrete base to it as well. So it's quite secure against rats and ferrets and all sorts of things uh, getting into here. So we'll only keep the chicks in here for a, a few weeks. We'll be waiting for them to grow to be big enough to be able to go into the uh, the run with the Buff Openton's and the other chicks as well. So, uh, as I say, these chicks uh, have been hand reared by us. Uh, they haven't been raised by a surrogate uh, uh, mother. Well, one of them's come out already. 